Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for the first half of your uh, November from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? Um, and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so uh, Pisces, what do we have for Pisces and love? Tell me about Pisces and love, over energies for Pisces regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the first half of their November from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for, um, for Pisces. All right, we have the Eight of Cups here and Judgment. And someone here could be coming to some sort of realization or having some sort of epiphany that it's time to walk away from something that's not working here. Pisces, okay? This could be you walking away, the other person, maybe both of you guys at the same time. Judgment, Sagittarius energy. We have the Justice card and the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, so what's happening here is I feel like someone here is learning the lessons. Someone here is making a decision for themselves what's good for them and to start all over again here. So Pisces, this could be you. Justice, Libra energy. So you could be learning some lessons here. You could be clearing out karma or that you're on your way to clear, clearing out karma by walking away from a situation here because it could be that you're taking on someone else's karma here, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Whoa. Whoever this is, this is a very really angry individual here that is not okay with you walking away. Someone here is coming back angry, coming back to fight. I don't know. With this Queen of Pentacles, it could be someone here that doesn't have money and they're coming back in to take things from you. Maybe you're dealing with a taker here. Uh, if this person's not taking things from you, taking money from you, this person's taking energy from you. Because I feel like your energy has been completely drained by this individual here, Pisces. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. With the king to queen of pentacles here. That's a true pair. It could be that you walked away from a situation where someone here has kept you as, as an option here. Here's the thing. I feel like this person at some point picked you, but out of nowhere, they changed their mind and they went towards somebody else. It seems like maybe this person came in to fight, came in to argue, but instead of, you know, sort of like trying to maybe resolve it with this individual, instead this person left you to be with somebody else. Justice, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords, yeah. So you might be, I feel like you're this Queen of Cups here. I feel like you walked away from this situation because you don't want any part of this drama. But it seems like we have a king here that has two queens on tap. And, you know, I feel like this person does see marriage with both of you guys. But I feel like this person had a hard time making a decision. I mean, they made a decision with you, but then they changed their decision down the line. Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor here. Aries energy, the Five of Wands here, and the Knight of Swords. I don't know. That Queen of Pentacles, I feel like they got their parents involved or something like that. This is a this is quite the mess. Yeah. So I don't know if the parent came in, got involved. I don't know. Maybe this parent paid this king to be with this queen of pentacles here. 
but I feel like this King of Pentacles wanted to be with you. All right. Uh, Emperor Aries energy, the Knight of Swords, Leap or Aquarius, Gem uh, Gemini. Uh, this is a really quite a messy, situa mess messy situation here. Tell me about the person that uh, Pisces is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces for the first half of their November from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. Strength, Leo energy in the death card, Scorpio energy, the Nine of Swords in the Tower, and the Six of Pentacles in the Ace of Swords. This person is not doing too well. Yeah. I feel like this King of Pentacles is trying to please a parent, but I feel like this King of Pentacles doesn't want to pursue what their parents want for them. I feel like a parent is getting in the way here. The Nine of Swords here in the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Uh, we have someone here that's not doing well. Someone here is really stressed out, really stressed out that the world is coming, is sort of like crashing down on them because I feel like this person doesn't really have full control of their life because I feel like this parent always dictated this person's life. Okay, Six of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords. This could, this could be indication that this person has a lot to say to you or a, a lot to tell you here, but I just feel like, you know, I just feel like this is you. This is you, your walls are up. This is you walking away from this. This is you like, you know what? I'll just be by myself then. Uh, tell me about the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Three of Wands, Death card, and the eight, eight of Swords. Someone here is waiting for you to come back and fearing that you won't come back or fearing that you won't hear them out or give them some sort of chance to speak here. Because I feel like this person wants to explain themselves, but it could be a situation that this person has told you the same thing uh, over and over and over again. It's just the same excuse. The, the Nine of Swords and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have the Six of Swords and the Tower here. Oh, look at that. We have the King to Queen of Cups, King to Queen of Pentacles. I do feel like there is a parent getting in the way here, trying to set your person up with somebody else. There is someone else here, but there, this is a soulmate connection, by the way. Okay, Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords here, and the Four of Cups. We have someone here that wants a new beginning here with you. This might be very abrupt. I feel like this person wants to run away from, uh, run away with you, to get away from this per person that's interject interjecting themselves into your connection. They're they're willing to do what it takes. It seems like they're willing to risk everything, even their family, to be with you. Yeah, because I feel like this this family doesn't agree with you being with them. Uh, I'll come in advice here for um, Pisces regarding a love situation. What does Pisces need to know for the first half of their November from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Page of Wands, the Fool here and the Lovers, and the Chariot here and Temperance. You guys might run away together here, I feel. You guys might take that chance, take that opportunity. It's sort of like a, I'm, I'm getting a bit of a yellow energy here. <laughs> yeah, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm getting kind of like a teenage dream sort of thing situation, you know? Sort of like two teenagers running away from home. Yeah, uh, the full Aries energy and the um, lover's Gemini energy, the chariot here in temperance. This is interesting because I feel like your guides and your angels and your person's guides and your angels could be supporting you on this decision that you guys are about to make. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune here. The King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Page of Wands here, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so we have someone here that's willing to take a chance here to make things work here with you. Okay, um, King of Swords, Leap, Aquarius, Gemini, the full Aries energy. Okay, and the Eight of Wands, the Lovers here, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, there is some great confidence that this can work out here or that this can work, okay, by moving away from this and taking a huge risk. Someone here is, someone here is feeling really confident about this. You both could be feeling really confident about this or one of you guys are. The Chariot here and the Seven of Cups and Temperance here and the Queen of Swords. We have the Kings and Queen of Swords. We have the Kings and Queen of Pentacles, Kings and Queen of Cups. True pairs here, yeah. 
I feel like you guys are about to live the dream here by leaving this behind. I mean, there are some fears surrounding this, but I just feel like you guys are going to do it because in the end, you guys are going to be happy. Okay, so Pisces, I hope that this was uh, helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.